What's up again, everybody? So if you missed it, there was some interesting developments over like yesterday evening into today where we've kind of discovered some issues with the uh, Unlimited Monarch print run, particularly with how some cases and boxes have been packaged. So I'm gonna talk you through what's happening with that, what LSS has said and is doing about that, which I think is very encouraging, and how you can actually go about checking to see if this has happened uh, in your neck of the woods. Now, this is only really affecting a couple of like locations, at least that's what LSS has said, and that's a very, very good thing, so you may not even need to worry about this, um, but in, in the case that you are, worried about this we're gonna actually check to see if what LSS um, said you can do about it like to check is actually functional and we'll go from there so here's the the, the quick and dirty the quick and easy of the whole situation um, it came to light from some posts on Facebook from I think the first one I saw was from Midian gaming in Australia and then a, a follow-up later I think this morning um, that there were some people that received, let me grab it, oh, they, gra they received unlimited cases. Here's an unlimited case, look, I'll just try to like nudge this out of the way. Look, they got unlimited cases that were labeled Monarch Unlimited, right? Um, they got these and then they opened them up. Midian Gaming um, over in Australia, by the way, check them out, they're pretty cool. Uh, they make YouTube videos, I watch their YouTube videos. Uh, they opened up the case and they found inside first edition Monarch boxes, okay, without the little uh, red unlimited tag here. And they were like, sweet, we just got some first edition boxes in an unlimited case from an unlimited print run. I don't know if they were really intending for it to be like, sweet, we got it, um, so much as they just wanted to point that out, but it's kind of funny how that works. There was a follow-up post by someone else that said they had the same thing happen. They got an unlimited case, they opened it, they found Monarch first edition packaging, they opened that, and they found unlimited booster packs inside with the cards being unlimited booster cards okay so with a little with the little circle at the bottom that's not colored in um, unlimited cards right so this is the whole uh, issue and if you're like at first you're thinking to yourself well that's kind of a weird little thing um, the more you think about it particularly from a collection standpoint like a collector's standpoint uh, the more you realize this could be a very very bad thing for a collectible market right if you've received a, um, a you've, let's just start with this. If you've paid an unlimited price for a, an unlimited box, and then you receive a box that is packaged first edition, but inside are unlimited packs, if you're a scalper or just a dirty, no good, trying to scam people out of their money kind of a person, what could you do with that? Well, all you gotta do is go online, post this as an, um, a first edition Monarch product, and uh, then just make massive profit, right? So this could be very, very bad if this was a large widespread thing. And what shocked me was, well, I guess it, now that I think about it, it doesn't really shock me because LSS, I feel, is a very um, good company. They're, I think they're good at communication and I think that they are um, very, very in line and in tune to the uh, community and the player base and the collector base. And so they jumped on uh, their website and they posted a an announcement about it, um, about what the, the problem is, how widespread it is, and how you can go about checking your own product and what they're doing about it. So let's go ahead and hop over and take a look at that post. So this was the statement that um, they released. I, I, it says 8th of June 2021, which to me is today, but I think it was yesterday. I think it was yesterday they released this like late last night. Um, and they said, we have become aware of a booster display packaging issue affecting some product manufactured late in the production of Monarch Unlimited, produced by Cardamundi Belgium. And I think the first thing that I wanna stop and say, it's interesting that they mentioned this, this is late in the production of Monarch Unlimited. This would mean that they have, you know, gone through this production process of Monarch Unlimited, and it's only really happened here at the end, which is also kind of, interesting i mean it checks out because you know we didn't see this print run issue at all with the first i want to call it the first wave of monarch unlimited that uh, was received in new zealand because remember new zealand actually started with monarch unlimited because their first edition was delayed right so monarch unlimited was like actually their first release of monarch and then they had 
first edition after the fact, and they didn't find this at all. Um, and so it's interesting that they bring this up, that this was uh, something that has occurred late in the production of, of Monarch Unlimited. It appears that some product in these later batches of Monarch Unlimited has been mistakenly packaged as first edition display packaging, which means that the booster packs are Monarch Unlimited, but the display is Monarch First Edition. And again, if you find yourself with a sealed product that looks like Monarch First Edition, but is actually unlimited, a far less valuable product, that is very, very scary for you know scammers and things like that to be able to get their hands on. So um, what this says here is important as well. In summary, for the affected batch, all cases are labeled Monarch Unlimited, which again, this case, is labeled Monarch Unlimited. So this is what it would come. It would look labeled Monarch Unlimited. Some display packaging is Monarch First Edition. All booster packs are unlimited and all the cards are unlimited. Okay, so literally the one thing you probably <laughs> the one thing you probably don't want, maybe the two things. One thing you probably don't want is that the the outer case, the thing that people don't want broken and opened is the first edition product, the more valuable display product, and everything inside of it is unlimited. The other thing you wouldn't want would be all the booster packs to be labeled um, first edition, and the cards actually to be unlimited, but that's not the case. Fortunately, it appears to be possible to distinguish this incorrect manufactured product from genuine first edition product um, through this method. Can be done by pressing down on the perforated pop-up flap on the booster display. If the product is affected by this arrow, then you'll see the edge of the red unlimited flag when you kind of peer inside of it. So basically we're searching. We're not searching a pack like you would in old school Magic the Gathering. We're searching a sealed box. Uh, as, and then they do this, and this is correct, honestly. As always, we recommend that you purchase individual first edition displays only from reputable sources. Um, currently, we know that the mispackaged Monarch Unlimited product has been released in Australia um, and is being held by our distribu distributor in Europe. This will impact um, the Monarch Unlimited release in some parts of Europe and UK, which really sucks. I'm sorry, Europe and UK people, that you're going to probably be affected by this, but it's better to uh, have this completely rectified than not, right? And then you have the problem. If you're a collector and you want to collect first edition or you want to collect or just open unlimited and you have this weird like what is it is it this or is it that it's better to just remove that completely and give you what you want rather than just let you dangle in the wind trying to figure out what you might need uh, to do about the problem so they recommend that we take a booster box that would be perhaps labeled first edition. This one, of course, is unlimited. By the way, I just want to start by saying this is an unlimited box. Came from that case I was holding up. Not, uh, it's not first edition in any way, shape, or form. Okay, but they say that if we take and perforate the top edge here and then peer in, that we can look in without opening the or without breaking the seal. So we're gonna try that. Okay, I'm gonna push this camera in close. We're gonna we're gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna see what we can see. Um, I can turn the lighting up if we need, and I'm probably gonna use my phone as a flashlight as well. So, here we go. We're, we're popping the perforation here, and we're gonna try to see that little border. Now, my first thought was like, okay, uh, if you've ever opened one of these boxes, um, they have like an interior inside flap that flips inside like that, which does kind of cover up the side. And again, if the packs are this way and vertical, then the uh, the tag would be right here. But that little thing is right there. So we're going to have to get really close and we're probably going to need to um, get this like in super focus mode. So let's see if we can get it in super focus mode and we can really try to dig into this thing without breaking the perforation. Again, that's the that's the goal is that we would want to... I can't see it just by doing that. We want to not really do much to the plastic itself. We want to try and get the uh, plastic as kind of like clean and pristine as possible. If I autofocus, will my camera just absolutely freak out? Probably will. Um, is that the red border? Nope. It's part of the packaging. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in close. Oh, you know what? Can I? Oh, I can do it. Yes, you can. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see if I can get this on the. You can actually do this. Look. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna auto focus. I'm gonna turn off autofocus and focus this up myself because you can, if you do like what I'm doing right here, you can most definitely catch the red the the red glimmer, and so I can see there's the red border right there. 
and I'm gonna try to get it to where you can too. Oh, it's so it's so dark. Okay, let's try doing it with the flashlight. Now, in doing this, I have bent a little bit of the um, of the plastic per like the, the the covering, but no, you can't. You can you can you can kind of see the red. If I can get the lighting just perfect, you can kind of see it. Look, there's my phone. It's 123 when I'm recording this. Look at me. This right here is the red flashing right there. So it is doable and it's way easy. There it is. Look, look, there's the red. That red little flash that you see is the banner and it's right there where my where my finger is. So it is possible to do that. Um, do you have to do it from that one angle is the second question. No, yes, you do. You have to push really hard too. Um, you have to really compress the packs, but if you do, you can just barely catch a glimpse and in better lighting perhaps in better lighting you'd be able to see it even better so it is possible to do this and see inside search the box if you will it is possible um is it exactly what you want to be doing no if you want and if you have a first edition uh labeled box that you've bought recently off of someone um perhaps you know that you're worried uh it, that it actually is first edition product you could do this again if you're just keeping this for like investment purposes it's gonna be hit or miss whether people care uh, if there's some bend right here like i'm looking at it now and you can kind of see it there's there's maybe some bubbling right there where i pushed there it is it's really not that big of a deal but again there could be someone like some seller that you want down the line that's like nah i don't want that and they may also not like that this that this perforation has moved uh, but honestly, <laughs> really, here's the thing. If you sit there and go, look, I checked to make sure this was like first edition and legit, and I pushed and I saw there was no red down there, that was the reason that this is bent like that. Honestly, if I were col like a collector looking to buy a first edition box, I would prefer that. I'd prefer that you check and that you give me like, you know, some picture, um, that proves it so honestly you may want to do this if you have these as singles what it also means is if you have a sealed case that's labeled monarch first edition it will always be first edition so if you have a monarch first edition case sealed then you probably want to keep it that way and <laughs> you probably uh, will have a nice little premium for a sealed case versus an unsealed case with individual boxes so it is possible to go through to check here to see if um, you know the packs inside of an un or I guess not an unlimited a first edition packaged box are first edition or unlimited LSS did a really good thing by saying you know this is limited or isolated to Australia and parts of UK and Europe and it does kind of suck for the UK and Europe crowd to have this delayed um, like they are and I guess the same with Australia um, I would imagine what they're doing if they have the ability to um, say that that it you know these boxes went here here and here then they would be able to recall those and then assuming they have the supply be able to pump supply the correct supply out but I really do like the way that LSS responded to this very very quickly and I think that's exactly what I would hope to see if I were a big collector in one of those regions um, looking to pick up product uh, if you have one of those boxes is that a good thing? Is it a good thing to have a, a a first edition box with unlimited packs in it? Does that make it more collect collectible? I don't know. Um, I know some people collect weird things. Uh, I, should you collect that weird thing? I'm not sure. I really, <laughs> I'm really not sure if you, you should go about collecting that. That's where this is at. That's how you go about doing the uh, the peak the peak process. Um, good on LSS for getting on this quick and then re just recalling that distribution or you know holding it up in the case of EU and uh, UK. Hopefully they can get that uh, sorted and back to free flowing unlimited like they wanted in the first place because you know the the problem really stems from packaging from the Cardamundi level, you know. So uh, really it needs to they need to go and be like hey. We got to get this fixed. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's what they need to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something with this. It is doable and possible to push down right there and see, like they said, uh, we confirmed that in this video. Uh, by the way, you can hit this little button, uh, the subscribe button, and it'll make that number go to that number, and then we'll get close to 4K, and uh, everyone will be happy. As always, everybody, thanks for watching.